Sa'ad Zaghloul Pasha was born in Ottoman Egypt in 1858. During his childhood, he witnessed the downfall of Ottoman rule and the increase of British influence in Egypt. During his youth, he joined the Al-Azhar University and he eventually became the editor of the Al-Waqiya Al-Masriya newspaper, in which he attacked the British-backed ruler of Egypt. He eventually joined the Egyptian government and began criticizing corrupt officials. In 1882, Sa'ad Zaghloul took part in the armed rebellion against the British-backed Tawfiq Pasha. However, this rebellion was crushed with the help of the British army, who occupied Egypt. After the rebellion was crushed, Sa'ad Zaghloul was dismissed from his government job and the Al-Waqiya newspaper was closed down by the government. Shortly thereafter, Sa'ad Zaghloul was arrested on charges of forming an anti-British armed resistance group. However, Sa'ad Zaghloul eventually abandoned violence and after being released from prison, he tried to reform the Egyptian government from within. In 1906, Sa'ad Zaghloul was appointed as the Minister of Education. As the Minister of Education, he increased the education budget and tried to combat illiteracy. He established many schools in small villages and promoted the Arabic language making it the primary language for education in Egypt, instead of English. Although the British had introduced many modern schools and educational institutions in Egypt, Saad Zaghloul feared that the British outlook toward education and their obsession with titles and degrees was having a negative effect on Egyptians. He stated, We do not need a lot of knowledge but we need a lot of morals and virtues. What we need to be proud of is our deeds in our life, not the certificates in our hands. In November 1910, Saad Zaghloul became the Minister of Justice. He tried to fight corruption and he frequently clashed with British officials. Because he could not make any significant changes in the justice system in Egypt, Saad Zaghloul eventually resigned from the Ministry of Justice. In 1914, he was elected President of the Legislative Assembly, but Lord Kitchener worked to prevent Saad Zaghloul from making any radical reforms. After the end of World War I, Saad Zaghloul demanded independence for Egypt and an end to British rule. In 1918, he established the Al-Wafd Party and formed an Egyptian delegation to defend the Egyptian cause against British occupation on the international stage. However, in March 1919, Saad Zaghloul was arrested and exiled to the island of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. This sparked the 1919 Egyptian Revolution which consisted of violent riots and protests. As a result of this revolution, the British reduced their military presence and direct political intervention in Egypt. Due to internal pressure, Saad Zaghloul was allowed to return from exile. After returning to Egypt, Saad Zaghloul participated in parliamentary elections and was elected as the Prime Minister of Egypt in 1923. On 19th November 1924, Major General Lee Stack, who was the British Governor of Sudan, was assassinated in the Egyptian capital. After this incident, the British demanded that Saad Zaghloul arrest the perpetrators and impose a ban on anti-British demonstrations throughout Egypt. The perpetrators were arrested, 
but Saad Zaghloul refused to ban anti-British demonstrations in Egypt. Therefore, the British forced Saad Zaghloul to resign from the position of Prime Minister. Saad Zaghloul Pasha passed away in August 1927 in Cairo.